morning and welcome. We're back at the UK Games Expo 2015. I'm Steve Tudor from Polyhedron Collider. I've got with me Philip Malensky. Hello. Uh, who's working with Cold Spring Games and you've got your game CV. Yes, exactly. Uh, so tell us a bit about CV. Oh, of course. Uh, CV is a game about human life. So the simplest description would be that it's like a board game version of Sims video game. Okay, so you you have a character, you start as a young man and you're going through entire life making lots of decisions about mm -hmm. what to do and to trying to create some interesting history of your life, your curriculum vitae, so CV. That's the basic idea. And we have lots of cards uh, in the game divided into next decks of youth, middle age and old age. And uh, on your turn uh, you roll a dice, at the start of the game you have four dice, later on you may have up to seven and you have some symbols on the dice and you're trying to collect one or two cards from the trunk. And the cards uh, are built in such a fashion that you have a cost in the upper half and some result in the lower. So for example, if I have some health and money, I can go for work and travel and I will have additional die from the next round. Okay. Or for example, I can go for an MBA studies and after that it would be easier for me to get a job. Okay, so the job cards would be cheaper. Right. Something like this. So you have, when you acquire a card, you put it in front of you, forming your starting, forming your CV. Yeah. And uh, so you're uh, based on your decision. Your abilities are growing and growing during the game, and you may do uh, uh, different different things better. For example, if you get a job like this one, if you get a job at your dad's corporate you have lots of money so from the next round you will have tokens of money which you can add to the dice okay. so it would be easier for you to acquire new cards but at the same time working for your dad is a little bit depressing oh, I was going to ask what the unhappy face one, was one sad face. <laughs> okay and the uh, happy and sad faces there on the dice and they work in such a fashion that um, when you roll when you roll a set face you cannot re-roll it because right. normally you have two re-rolls of your dice. Okay. And if you roll three set faces, something bad happens, it's misfortune and you're losing one of the cards. Oh right, okay. okay. On the other hand, if you roll three smileys, you can have any card for free, okay? Just based on your luck. Mm. Like in real life. Okay? <laughs> and we also have some goal cards, which you score at the end of the game if you fulfill that goal. Uh, so, and we have lots, lots of cards um, that showing some events from our life, and uh, you always making a story. So at the end of the game, you have around 15 cards here, make mm. with, with some nice story created. What you have done in your life? Yeah. Uh, what happened first? What next? Uh, something like this. So basically, that's that's how CV works. Okay. So it, a good minute, it reminds me of the old game of life. Yeah. If you remember that one, but to be fair. Sounds a lot more interesting because <laughs> that was an old roll and move Some game. Some of the geeks describe it as a, you know, it's just like Game of Life, but it has a game mechanics. Yes, <laughs> it's Game of Life with an actual game. Uh, what, so, what, how did you come up with the idea? What, what was the inspiration for making this CV? Uh, uh, basically, at the very start, we wanted to. Uh, our idea was to make a game. Uh, for youngsters to teach them about some basic economic uh, uh, things like investing etc but when we started uh, with uh, with this idea it very very quickly changed into something much bigger and into game about your entire life not only the start of your life okay so mm. and uh, people like it very much from the beginning so we were sure that it's a good way to go so we went this way and uh, we have CVs now on the market from a uh, year and a half and it's in more than 10 countries already, it's quite successful, yeah? so we are happy cool. <laughs> about this game. Um, one thing that strikes you straight away, and it's both on the card art and, and the, the box especially, it's got a very distinctive art, art style, those cartoony graphics. Yeah it's, yeah, it's made by Piotr Soha, it's quite famous Polish uh, magazine illustrator, okay. uh, satiric illustration about politics, etc. That's his main job. And it's, it's really something different. Yes, so Some people really love it, some people hate it, but no one, uh, I, I never met a person who don't care at all Yeah, it's this illustration. So I think it's something good because we have so many games this time and it's uh, it's a good idea to have something different. Yeah. Mm, makes it stand out. Now I've got to ask, on the cover of the box you've got what looks like a vampire. Oh yeah. So how does a vampire go yeah, into the game's life? Very, very <laughs> important card, I can show it to you. It's called Psychotherapy. 
looks like <laughs> this. And uh, when you have a when you have a this card, once each round you can re-roll all of the set faces. Okay, so you okay. can manage your misfortune better. <laughs> That's, That's pretty cool. Idea. So the, the 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 person who did all the art, you say he's a famous Polish um, satirical artist. How does, how do they get him involved if he's you know such a big person to get involved in the board game? You know, actually, um, we worked uh, at Grana, we worked with him for many years, okay, so he, he's one of our main illustrators, yes, okay. so we have a quite long relationship with him, so it wasn't such a big problem to convince him yeah, to <laughs> start enough. with this one. Uh, he also illustrated the Super Farmer, which is also available at Cold Spring, yeah. so uh, he's with us for, for, for a long time. <laughs> Okay, can you tell us a little bit about Grana then? Because some people may not have heard of Grana as a games yes, company. Yes, of course. Um, we are a company based in Warsaw, Poland, and uh, we are operating from 24 years now. And we started from a small family company. Now we have more than 100 people in our crew. And we are um, a publisher. We are focused mainly on children and family games, but we are also manufacturer. And, and we manufacture games for many, many different companies around the world as mm. well. Okay, so do you uh, publish games in Polish then? Do you, if you're manufacturing big games, are you, are you just, is it English mostly or? Uh, we have partners, I guess, in around 30 countries around the world. Okay, so Cold Spring is our British partner, but we have many partners in uh, many countries. Uh, so our, it's, um, it's both of that uh, are important parts of our business. Yeah, mm. to, to publish good games in Poland and also offer it to our partners worldwide. Well, you're not the only Polish developer here, there's quite a few, so has Poland got a really big gaming scene? It's growing, it's growing very rapidly last few years, mm. and um, we had many, I, I would say we had many good uh, designers, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, many many people play board games in Poland now, and it slowly changed from uh, this stereotypical uh, view of board games as kind of toy for children to something part of culture, something normal for adults, yeah. for everyone. And now um, I, I think we already made that final step. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thanks and so Thanks much. for bringing this CV to look at and good luck with the game and enjoy the rest of the expo. Thank you very much. Cheers.